hello and welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to talk about some great tips and tricks to score well in your paper 5 in IGCSE physics which is practical test so let's talk about some great tips the point number one is to be no or to be very much familiar with the slabers yes slabers plays a very important role if we are very clear with the slabers and the practical activity which is which are required uh, I'm sure you are going to kill each and every question read through the slabers and understand what skills you are going to be tested upon second is practice practice as many experiment as possible to get comfortable with the apparatus and the procedures and this will also help you to avoid the mistakes which you are making again and again uh, during the practice uh, you can also practice past paper questions the question the experiments which are there in the past papers the third is make sure you record everything recording means uh, whatever experiment you are doing make sure you are making a rec uh, re record of the readings and observations in a notebook so that you can uh, organize your data and it will be easier for you to analyze it later fourth is draw accurate diagrams yes diagrams play a very important role in sciences in IGCSC sciences basically so draw accurate diagrams and don't forget to label all the important components this will help you obviously to understand the experiment better and make it easier to explain in the exam if I talk about point number five use appropriate units units play a very important role again especially in IGCSC physics so whenever you are recording your data make sure you use the appropriate units even in your observation table in the heading of the table make don't forget to mention the units so this will show you that you understand the importance of units in physics question uh, point number six is to be familiar with the equipment you should be aware uh, of the names and the usage of each and every apparatus you are using for example if you're using a screw gauge you should be aware this is a screw gauge and how to read it so know how to use the equipment and make sure it is set up correctly before you start the experiment point number seven is to be precise take precise measurements and record them accurately this will help you to get accurate results and reduce the possibility of errors point number eight is to analyze your data yes you have to analyze your data carefully and look for any patterns or trends this will help you to draw conclusions and answer any questions related to the experiment so make sure that you have the the data you have collected you are able to analyze it properly point number nine practice writing up your experiment so practice uh, uh, how you are going to write your experiment basically especially the last question which is there in the practical paper which where you have to plan the experiment yourself so you have to practice writing multiple experiments on your own so that you get the idea of the steps you have to include in your experiment and last but not the least manage your time effectively and this point is not only important for your paper 5 you have to manage your time effectively in all your exams whether it's sciences mathematics English whatever so manage your time well during the exam make sure that you allocate enough time for each experiment and obviously you have to have some time at the end to review your work so make sure whenever you are going for your pra uh, paper 5 practical test you keep these points in mind so all the best for the upcoming exams if you like the video, do subscribe to the channel and have a good day.